Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Technotalks here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Nearby Share. What Nearby Share is, it's basically AirDrop for Android, and it might be Quick Share as well, which Samsung had released before. What this allows you to do is share files and videos, photos, very easily with Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, and it's just a fast way of sharing them. So it allows you to be near someone. It's like AirDrop. When you're near someone, when you click share, you're able to choose that person. And you can also change some settings with this. So let's get on with it. Let me show you how to get it first. It's not going to be a specific update. It, Google just rolled it out secretly. It was just there when I swiped down on my notification panel. You're going to want to swipe down two times and you're going to want to click these three buttons. On these three buttons, you're going to want to click order and in order. If you haven't already put down nearby share and you haven't already set it up, it's going to have this icon, an orange icon, which is going to basically let you know that there's something new. What you're wanna, gonna do is you're gonna swipe and try and find it. And once you find it, just put it down here and click done. If I can click it. So once you've done that, you're gonna wanna click nearby share once. And when you do it for the first time, it's gonna ask for what Gmail account you wanna use. And you can choose any of your Gmail accounts. And then after that, you're gonna be able to change your name by clicking here and you're gonna be able to change some settings. So device visibility, all contacts, device name, whichever phone you wanna do. And then you can change your Gmail later on as well. So it gives you some data, maybe used for small files, charges may apply, all that stuff, but that's not too important. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to use it and how to share with other, other devices. So first up, we're gonna to wanna to get on our other phone and in our other phone, we're just gonna have it unlocked. So we wanna keep it open so the devices can actually see each other. On this device, the device that I'm gonna be sending photos from, I'm gonna to go to my gallery or if you're sending files, it's the same process for all of them. I'm gonna go on to here and I'm gonna click share. So on share, once I click share, I'm gonna scroll down and if you haven't used nearby share before, it's probably gonna be down here somewhere, but if you have used it, and you, if you are using it a lot, it's going to be up here. So once that happens, I'm going to click nearby share and in nearby share, it's looking for nearby devices. So if this device doesn't allow you to share and it, if it's not allowing you to share in the first place, you just want to go down. If it's hidden, you just want to click nearby share and it's going to say visible to nearby devices. And as you can see, it just popped up right there. So we're going to click S10E and on this, we're gonna wait, share with this device, and then on here it's gonna prompt you to accept it or decline it. We're gonna click accept, and instantly, you guys saw that, right? Instantaneously, it just popped up onto this screen. And we can also see the file size, so 3.28 gigabyte megabytes, and on here, 3.28 megabytes. So that basically just shows you that it doesn't reduce the file size, which is really nice. And you're just able to instantly share photos, videos, files, which is really nice. So you guys might know that there is already quick share with Samsung had released, but this is, in my opinion, it's better. It's faster, it's easier to connect between the devices, and overall it just feels better the way you use it. It's connected with your Gmail account and all that. So that's about it guys. Um, that's how you use nearby share, how you can access it for the first time, and how you set it up. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.